Maybe start with video comment, please. Hi, Antonio. Hi. What were you happy with today? What were you disappointed with from your side? Honestly, honestly, and uh, I have to be happy. I have to be happy for uh, for different reasons. And uh, the first that... Uh, uh, Goodison Park is not uh, an easy place to come to play against Everton, especially when uh, when you had uh, a week very intensive emotionally. I'm talking emotionally for for my players, not for the club. After uh, played uh, the game uh, Thursday, and uh, I have to be happy. I have to be happy because uh, I I started to to see uh, some tactical situation. For sure, we can improve and uh, we have we have a lot of space for improvement, a lot of space. And uh, in uh, in different situations, uh, uh, tactically, physically, but also the mentality. But today, uh, I have seen uh, uh, the art of my players. Uh, the passion, uh, the, the will to to fight, the will to fight, the will to sacrifice, uh, the will to uh, to understand that uh, th there was a moment very 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 uh, difficult, uh, difficulty for for us, and uh, to see this uh, type of re reaction um, make me uh, more confidence for 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 the future because sometimes you can you can. Uh, teach uh, to our players under tactical aspect. Uh, uh, you can improve uh, your your players under physical aspect, but um, the art, the passion, the will, uh, and uh, how, how you have or not. And uh, my players are showing me that uh, under this aspect, uh, they are in a, in a good position. We are in a good position. And uh, this is a good... Uh, a good point uh, uh, to start the photo for me. You were close to winning it with Lo Celso hitting the post, but is it cre creativity that you're looking at? Or maybe was it a case of, of, of tired legs in terms of being able to create a little bit more in the final third because it, it took so much out of your players on Thursday night? Yeah, I think I think uh, if uh, if I have to, to see a, a negative aspect of uh, this... Uh, uh, in this game, that I, I think that we made uh, many, many mistakes uh, in the final pass because we had uh, chances. Uh, if uh, uh, if uh, we we made the final pass in the right way, um, we uh, we could have chances to to score. Instead, the last pass we made uh, with many many mistakes. Uh, Lo Celso uh, went uh, went in. Uh, uh, very well, and uh, he hit uh, a post. But for sure, I have to know very well the whole squad. And uh, I said to my players that uh, uh, we have to to know each other better. And for me, they have to give me the possibility to uh, to know to know them very well. Uh, and uh, and then uh, we have a squad, and uh, every every single player uh, have to try to make me in difficulty uh, because uh, I like to win. I like to win, and uh, I'll pick the uh, the players that uh, I think at this moment uh, they can uh, can give us the possibility to win. Finally, for me, Antonio, uh, Rafa said that the penalty decision that was overturned anywhere else on the pitch that would have been a foul. What was your view on that decision? But my view is uh, is very simple because uh, uh, I, I can I cannot understand if the um, the referee don't go to VAR and they don't watch what happened. But in this type of situation. If they are call you and you go, you watch 
And you see, then it's difficult to make the, uh, to make a mistake. And uh, I have seen, and honestly, and uh, Loris touched the ball uh, before. And uh, to make a, a, a mistake uh, after you watch uh, VR, for me, it's impossible. And uh, it's impossible. And I think that, no, I think, I'm sure, also in this situation, that the every I have seen, and he watched, and uh, he took the, the right decision for, for him. Thanks, Vinny. Uh, Rob Guest, please. Hi, Antonio. Uh, are you happy with what you've seen from your defence? Because obviously on Thursday there was a couple of sloppy goals he conceded to let Vitesse back into the game. Um, I think I think uh, when uh, when uh, you want to be become a uh, big, when uh, you want to to try no to try to to be competitive uh, and uh, you must uh, you must have a, a stable team, not ups and down, ups and down. And uh, um, today uh, we didn't concede goal, and I think uh, is a, a good start to to improve. And uh, on Thursday uh, we scored three goals. We gave me chances to improve, uh, to prove uh, our score. And then uh, at the end uh, we considered uh, to go. I think uh, we must learn to be stable, and uh, there is only one way uh, to to be stable: um, to uh, to make uh, uh, offensively together, to make defensively together, and uh, all the players uh, has to to go into this uh, uh, into this idea. And today I have seen this: the will, the um, the will to sacrifice, the will without the ball to uh, to pay attention uh, to the details because the details uh, move move the final result. Okay, we're gonna have to leave there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.